Michigan Science Center is ready to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Hubble telescope, which revolutionized what we really know about space and our universe. So many breathtaking mm -hmm. pictures that have come from that. This is called Astronomy Weekend, though. Joining us today, Charles Gibson uh, and also Paulette, ahead of the big event. So what kind of demonstration? Are we going to toss Karen? So, oh, yeah, that's going to come crashing. <laughs> this is, it's not that strong. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is a, a gravity demonstration. So have okay. you guys seen those um, when you go to a science center or maybe even in a mall, you put your coin in and yes. it right. rotates Dippin'. around there? So there's actually some really cool science that we can demonstrate with that. And this is just a modified version uh, that we can kind of manipulate, too. So Paula will tell you a little bit about so it. So the fabric that we have right here, this is our two-dimensional gravity. So um, this is our two-dimensional space. Of course, we okay. know that space is three-dimensional, but okay. to think about it a little a little bit better we use our two dimensions and when we put a massive object onto our space we'll see that space warps and that warping is actually what gravity is it, that's how the force works it's warping space um, ah. so the more mass that you <laughs> without warp space we'd be floating around here yeah. then. Okay. <laughs> the more mass that you add the more that it warps space yeah. and when you sort of launch objects around it. I've got some marbles right here. And that would be like a planet. Yeah, this would be like a planet. We'll see that it'll orbit around our mass. Hmm. And is it gravity that makes the orbit decay, or is it the, uh, the fabric? It's the fabric. Uh, okay. we're, we're using, uh, we have an environment that has friction, <laughs> and unfortunately that makes our orbit decay and, okay. and, and gets smaller. But so the cool thing is less massive objects have a pretty neat effect on it, too, so we can <laughs> Roll our marbles right off the table. It's a good thing she's got more. She's, she's got more practice <laughs> compared to something oh. heavy like this. So less massive objects won't warp space as much. So you actually have to get it a lot closer. You'll see to be able to get it in orbit. If you're far, too far away, what happens is exactly what happened to that other marble. It just flies off the edge. Looking for the next massive. And these object. are some of the types of uh, demonstrations you'll be doing this weekend. Yeah. yeah. So this is actually brand new. Uh, Paulette assembled this just recently. So Can I do this golf a, ball? Yeah. Go that, for it. What does that teach us? Uh, it's it's <gasps> just a, oh, sorry. Just a, different kind of, <laughs> just a different kind of object. You can, you can see that it doesn't matter the size of the object that's orbiting oh, around. Oh, okay. It, uh, it'll still do it. And, you know, you can launch a whole bunch of them all at the same time. So the really neat thing is we can look at this and sort of, wow, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we can look at it and how it's, uh, how it's an elliptical orbit, too. Okay. So it's not a perfectly circular orbit, so we can think about our own solar system and the star in the middle and how our own planets kind of orbit that in a, in a sort of a, a different shape than just a perfect circle. So folks come to Michigan Science Center this weekend, what's on tap? So we'll have uh, astronomy themed activities, but also we have a special offer. So uh, with a general admission adult, you get your child in free. Oh, that's a great Ooh. deal. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we also have a Hubble edition to our What's Up show in the planetarium, and we're showing the Hubble the IMAX film in our IMAX. Oh, okay. that's really good. And now for folks that are already looking ahead and planning summer activities for their kids, uh, you're gonna be taking your show on the road. Yeah, we do uh, all our outreach programs, go off to the library, uh, but we have summer camps at the Science Center, too, uh, that uh, kids can come down uh, for the full week and just uh, different themes every week, too. So it's a, a week-long camp? Week-long camps at the Science Center, okay. yep. So we're uh, enrolling now for that, and their uh, spots are filling up. So uh, definitely uh, uh, find out what the, those spots are looking like, okay. uh, what the different themes are, and we'll make sure we get you in. In the meantime, Astronomy Weekend this weekend at the Michigan right. Science yes. Center. <laughs> How are you doing with that experiment there, Guy? Uh, you know, See, not bad. No, it's it. not bad. I, yeah. There we go. There Thanks, we go. Ken. Oh, Ken. Ken. <laughs> oh. When planets collide. So exactly. when you have objects going two different directions, they'll collide. And actually, if you throw a whole bunch of them at once, they'll collide and all go the same direction. Really? Mm -hmm. We need to do that on the commercial break. Just okay. start throwing <laughs> some stuff around.